In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell an ebook using Web Starts and PayPal. Now, the method that I show you how to sell an ebook can also be applied to selling music and video and other digital content online using Web Starts. Start by logging into your account, and the first page that you're going to see is the one we're looking at now, which is your account dashboard. And I'm going to start by showing you uh, the page that I've prepared and I'm going to click on edit uh, my home page because that's where I'm going to uh, place my product promotional materials as well as my buy now button that I'm going to generate using PayPal. So my page is loaded up and as you can see I've already prepared some promotional statements about my product and I'm ready to get into things. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that I've uploaded my digital content. So for this example, my ebook is in a PDF format, which I highly recommend because it's compatible with most people's computers and it's compatible with Web Starts. And the way that we upload a PDF is click Insert and then go to File and the File dialog box loads and then we click Browse to browse our local machine for that a PDF file which mine's called SEO checklist so I'm going to double click on it and then a few moments go by and you can uh, upload this I actually already have the file uploaded so I'm going to overwrite it which is just going to take a second okay and so now the PDF file is uploaded to my site so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that window so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the page that we're going to send people to after we take their money so that they can download the ebook. And the way we do that is click on the new page icon. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to make a copy of an existing page. That's going to be my home page. And then I'm going to name this uh, page ebook. Now you can name the page whenever you want if you want to make the page a more cryptic name so it's harder for people to share that link amongst their family and friends. Uh, that's fine. Uh, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just naming an ebook and I'm clicking create page. And a few moments pass, and my new page is created, and uh, I navigate there instantly. Now I can change this text to say uh, whatever I want. I can say thank you uh, for downloading the product. Um, I can just remove it, whatever. I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say thank you for your purchase. But of course you can make that say whatever you want. And then this is going to be the text that I'm going to use to get them to uh, download uh, the ebook. And so I'm going to edit this text to say uh, right click on this link and choose to save target as to download your ebook. Okay, so then I'm going to turn this into a link, and it's actually going to be a link to my ebook. So I'm going to choose the text and click the link tool in the toolbar. Okay, and then I'm going to choose the option to link to a file, and that's going to show my file. And I want to link to this SEO checklist PDF, which is my ebook. I'm going to change the link appearance so that it's more easily seen on my dark gray background by making the links white and adding a rollover effect and I'm gonna uh, make this link launch in a new window so people can view it online the PDF file online as well as download it now I click create link okay and my link is created so I'm gonna go ahead and click save on that page and now people can right click on uh, that link or just click on that link and, and they'll see the uh, PDF ebook alright so now we've created our purchase confirmation page and uh, it's time to go into our PayPal account and actually create our buy now buttons. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to log into your PayPal account. If you don't already have a PayPal account, they're free to set up. So just go to PayPal.com and uh, set one up. Now I'm already logged into my PayPal account and I click on the Merchant Services tab. And then I'm going to click on the Buy Now button link here. Okay, and here's where I can create my PayPal Buy Now button. I'm going to be selling products. I'm going to be creating a Buy Now button. I'm going to uh, create an, uh, a product name. I'm going to put that in there. You can put in a product ID if you want. It's optional. 
and then of course you don't want to forget to put your price and you can customize your button you can put in shipping and tax if it applies to you it doesn't for this example and then you want to click on the step three which is customize advanced features and it's going to ask you if you want to um, your, allow your customers to change their quantities I'm going to say no and include in spe special instructions I'm going to say no and no I don't need their shipping address because I'm uh, selling a digital product that you're, they're going to get instantly over the internet and here's where it's a little tricky take customers to a specific URL after checkout cancellation I don't want that option but I do want to take customers to a specific page or URL after a successful checkout so I'm gonna check that option and then what I've got to do is go back over to my web starts account and find the link to that purchase confirmation page that has uh, the, the spot where people can actually download the ebook which is this page so I'm gonna click on the, the link to my site and uh, what I'm gonna do is click on the ebook uh, link from my website navigation menu and so navigating back to my site I'm going to actually click on the link uh, to my site and then I'm going to click on the ebook link from my website navigation menu and that's going to take me to the page where people can uh, download the book and I'm just going to copy uh, that URL by right click selecting it right clicking on it and then uh, choosing copy and then I'm going to paste it into my uh, buy now button in my PayPal account. I click create button and then after a couple of moments my buttons created and now this is the code I'm going to need for my button. I'm going to click and drag to select all my code and then I'm going to right click and choose copy and then I'm going to navigate back to the page where I want to actually add my buy now button which is not the page where people download my ebook but in this example it's going to be my home page so I'm going to navigate uh, back to uh, the editable version of my home page and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert and then I'm going to click on HTML code and then I'm going to right click in the space provided and choose paste or just click the paste icon and that's gonna put the code for my PayPal button in there click OK and my PayPal button is added to my page so now I can just click on that and drag it to any location where I want it to appear and then just click save so now uh, everything's functional they can go to my home page see my product promo click on my buy now button and when they complete checkout they'll go to my ebook page but there's still just one problem and I'm gonna tell you how to fix that and that's that someone could just bypass that whole checkout process and click on ebook and download uh, my digital product so what I want to do is remove this ebook link from my website navigation menu and I can do that by clicking on my account dashboard and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down through my pages and find uh, the ebook page which is at the bottom here and then I'm gonna find this column that says shown on menu well yes it's shown on menu right now I'm gonna click that yes and the yes will become a no and now as you can see the uh, ebook page will no longer be shown on my website navigation menu and the only way people will get to it is if they complete that checkout or if somebody else gives them the link to that site and what you can do if you're really concerned about that is you can add the password protection feature to that site and send an email with a username and password to everybody who buys your product or you can change that uh, page name regularly so people can only you know download it for a week or whatever but really uh, for the most part this method is going to work for the people that want to pay for your product um, and that's about it so don't forget to visit webstarts.com to build a free website and to see more helpful videos like this